once you're happy once you're happy with yourself i don't know where i'm going with this but what is your period routine Welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing Y'all know every time I start videos I can't speak but let me start over What's up? I'm not welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a girl talk video Period 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 but before we get into the video don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe Without further ado let's just get right into the video Alright so I asked you guys on my snapchat account um, I posted like a YOLO, which is like an anonymous app that people can send me messages on. And I told you guys to ask me girl-related questions that I can answer for a YouTube video. I um, also have hookah. I have like a little mini hookah. So I'm going to be doing that while I talk. Um, also, I feel like I don't really do sit-down videos and talk to you guys. So I wanted to really be real in this video. Not that I, I'm not real in all my other videos, but... You know, I don't really speak to you guys how I would really speak to my friends, you know? So in this video, starting now, I'm going to start talking t talking to you guys how I would talk to my friends. Like right now, my hair is just like in a ponytail. I just put a headband on and I already had lashes because I went to Target today. So yeah, like this is me. Um, I'm going to answer these questions that you guys gave me, honestly. Um, and yeah, um, I just started the hookah, so it's probably not going to be pulling like at first. Okay, it's getting there. But, um, yeah, so let me just get on with the first video. Yeah. I was excited to do this video for you guys. Like, I'm going to really start posting, and I know whether you believe it or not, I'm going to start posting, okay? So, the first question, I took a picture of it on the iPad, so I'm going to read it from the iPad. So, the first is, how do you deal with a breakup after a boy breaks your heart? um honestly it just takes time okay like don't rush it at all it just takes time okay everybody heals differently so um yeah it just takes time it do what you have to do okay if you have to sit down in your room by yourself and watch netflix and just have you time for that breakup then do that okay if you have to go out with your friends and have fun then you'll do that okay just do whatever you think you need to do to get over it and like i said it takes time the the feeling is not gonna go away the next day okay it just depends on what type of person you are but like i said just do things that make you happy okay and i know you might i know y'all probably thinking like oh but that boy made me happy the boy was the reason um like the boy was like my main source of happiness da -da -da. No, you have to exit that whole thing out and do stuff that makes you happy, okay? You don't need a boy to make you happy. You don't need anybody to make you happy, okay? Once you're happy, once you're happy with yourself, I don't know where I'm going with this, but just make yourself happy, okay? Don't depend on a boy. And if you are in a relationship right now, don't depend on the boy, okay? It's great to love him. It's great to be in love, all of that. But don't feel like you're going to die without him okay because when you guys if you guys do break up it's gonna hit hard and you're gonna feel like that was your main source of happiness you're gonna feel like like who what like who am i without this person you know so even if you're in a relationship just know that you don't need them okay you was fine without them and you'll be fine after period so to answer that question it just takes time okay like i said do whatever you need to do whether it's sitting in your room watching netflix whether it's crying like just do what you need to do okay until you realize that you are that girl and you don't need nobody period also i put my hair in a ponytail and i accidentally put the scarf inside the ponytail so if you guys see that then whatever um okay how to talk your parents into letting you date um how to talk your parents into letting you date um okay you probably can't talk them into it but it depends how old you are okay if you're getting like older and that age and it's a boy that you like i had answered this on my snapchat so make sure you guys follow me 
add me on Snapchat. I'll put it on the screen. If it's not on the screen, then it will be in the description down below. Um, so, yeah, you can't really talk them into it. But I would say, like I said on my Snap, to introduce your mom to the boy, okay? Say, oh, mom, it's this boy. Um, it's this boy or whatever. He's my friend. Just introduce him as a friend, you know? And maybe be on the phone with the boy around your mom so she could, like, kind of get used to you guys. Or you said the boy, at least. Um, so, yeah, I would just say to, you know, slowly ease your way into it. Make sure she knows of the boy. Don't just pop up randomly and be like, oh, I want to date this boy. Can I date him? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Make her get to know the boy. Um... Yeah, I think that answers my question. If your parent is like a strict parent and she doesn't want anything to do with any of that, I would say to sit down and talk to her about it. Um, yeah, I would just say to sit down and talk to her about it. Um, best way to increase clientele. Okay, so you guys, I don't know if you know, but I do hair. Um, I did start doing hair in October. Um, was it October? Yeah, in like October, I started like doing people's hair. Um, I would say to promote, promote, promote. Okay, promote on your social media, your Snapchat. Ask who wants to be my brand ambassador. You know, ask like just engage. Okay, post it on your Snap, your Instagram, your Facebook. Post it everywhere. Okay. So that, you know, people see you, people do that. Make an Instagram if you don't already have one for specifically whatever you're doing, like whatever business you're doing. And, you know, have your friends promote it. If your friends are real, they'll promote your stuff, okay? If you have real friends, they will promote your stuff, okay? So, yeah, and even if you don't have them, just promote, promote, promote. Like I said, ask who wants to be your brand ambassadors. You'll probably have people reaching out to you saying, oh, I want to do it. You know, offer people free hairstyles or free service for whatever you're doing. And if they like it, they'll suggest it to other people and it'll just go on and on and on. So, yeah, that's what I think. Okay, um, how to be successful on YouTube um honestly do trending videos like do trendy videos do videos with more than one pe more than one person i don't know like as y'all probably seen my biggest video on my channel was with three of my friends was it three of my friends i think it was with three of my friends so um yeah just do videos with people trendy videos um have a good thumbnail to engage Put, like, some extra words on your thumbnail so people will want to press it. And promote. Promote, promote, promote. Promote, especially when it comes to YouTube. Also, I'm going to promote it on your social medias. Everything. Okay? Next one is a good one. How to hold down a relationship that you're not feeling anymore. Okay. So, if you're not feeling the relationship anymore, but you still want to kind of, like, hold on to it, you still you still want it to work, I would say just remember why you started, why you guys started um, dating in the first place. You know, remember why you guys were in a relationship in the first place. I'm pretty sure, like, in the beginning, it was great. So, just remember all those times, okay? If the person starts to change and, like, their energy or their, you know, whatever they do starts to change from, from the beginning, then... And you're really not feeling it, I would say to let it go. But if you want to hold on to it, then yeah, just remember all the fun stuff that you guys used to do in the beginning or how fun the relationship was in the beginning. Um, also, go on a date, like hang out more, stuff like that, you know? I just think that that's, that that helps. And um, yeah. Okay. If you're always sweating... How do you make sure you don't stink with the sweat as a female? Okay, so I don't usually sweat a lot. If you know me, you know I don't sweat a lot. Um, Yeah, but I would say to just make sure that you have a good deodorant. I'm about to go get the deodorant that I use to show you guys. I use the Secret pH Balance 
um it's a ph balance powdered fresh deodorant from the brand secret it says ph balance right on right on it and it's the powder fresh scent i really really like this it stays on for like a good amount of time it doesn't say how long it stays on but i like this okay um i also have this one which is just the unscented ph balance one i don't like this one it's unscented and um it uh it, I don't really like it. I feel like it brings out the smell more, probably because it is unscented. So I wouldn't really recommend this one. Maybe if you're more sensitive and you don't really sweat a lot, then I would recommend this. But if you do, um, I would recommend this one. This is the Powder Fresh one. It's the same one as this. But this one is the Powder Fresh scent and it has pH balance right on it. So, um, yeah, this is what I would recommend. Also keep wipes on you um keep like baby wipes or um some type of wipes just so if your underarms are sweaty you could wipe before you put the deodorant on you don't want to just put the, deod the deodorant on on top of sweat just to like clean it up wipe with the wipe before you do that um as far as like down there um i would say once you wash down there you can get like unscented wipes not like the um You'll get unscented wipes. I'm going to show you guys a pack of wipes that I also have. Hold on. I know that scent, that Summer's Eve has a lot of, like, bad, like, I hear a lot of bad reviews about it. But this Summer's Eve that I have is um, the Simply Free and Gentle. So it's specifically gentle for your skin. Um, it's coconut water cleansing cloths okay and i'm not saying to just stuff it all in there no you can like wipe the sides just so it's not sweaty that's it don't go inside none of that and make sure you read everything that before you're buying it make sure it's good for your skin maybe contact your doctor or something make sure that's good for you but these are the ones that i use it's summer eves it's the free and gentle and it's the coconut water cleansing cloths okay um i don't use these often at all um but if you do need it or if i do need it i would like use it um yeah it's free from dyes parabens and alcohol so yeah it's a, it has a very very natural smell also um if you're too sensitive for this i would recommend just researching products that you can use um for for you know whatever is best for you all right so next is is it is it okay to use unscented soaps for down there um i would say yes um i think it is good to use um unscented soaps for down there like i said you don't want to stuff it all in like don't do that okay a quick little wipe at the top like close to your stomach at the top you can like wipe that or like maybe the sides that's what i do like the sides but don't go inside okay unset the soap is good for that make sure you find one that's right for you um yeah also guys i'm not a doctor or don't have no license for any of this so speak with your doctor before listening to what i have to say i'm just giving you guys um my answers for what's good for me and for what i know from experience okay okay um have you tried the tree hut scrubs if so do you recommend i never tried it i might put a picture of it on the side because i do know what you're talking about but no i never tried it i stick to the same things like i don't really try like i might pick up some new things to use probably maybe yeah. but um for the most part i use the same things um i the only thing i use like for my face i just use the saint eyes apricot scrub um it, that was in like a couple of my videos or probably just the um the first day of school video was definitely in that so you can see that to see what i use for my face but no i never used um the tree hut scrubs i never use them okay somebody said i recently got my period and i'm so nervous do you have any tips 
um, it's nothing to be nervous about, okay? It's natural. It's going to happen to all girls. Nothing to be nervous about. But um, just find the right pads that work for you. I use, um, if I can find a picture, I'll put it in there. But I don't really see it around my room right now. So I don't want to go searching for it. But um, yeah, and the type of pads, I'll if I can find it, I'll find a picture of it. But the pads that I use, I use it for, like, I've been using it for a long time. Like I said, I don't really try new things. Like, whatever works for me, I stick to it. But I would suggest the pads with the flaps so that you could tuck it. Um, yeah, no, I don't suggest the pads. It's just straight. I don't suggest that. Get the pads that have the little flaps that you could put, that you could stick onto your underwear. Um, yeah, I don't use any tampons or anything like that. I only use pads. Um yeah so that's my tips also just carry like unscented wipes with you or just make sure you like wherever you go you have like a little kit where like you can put like like with the wipes that i showed you guys it comes individually like this so it's easy to just take out and put in your bag so you could put like toys inside your bag just in case anything that happens with your period um keep an extra underwear and yeah that's what i would suggest The next question is, would you consider a dark vag ugly? Because a lot of girls are insecure about that. I definitely wouldn't consider it ugly. Um, it's natural. A lot of girls can't control it. Um, for all the girls that I know, or I'm not even going to say for all the girls that I know, but from what I know, a lot of girls, things are darker than their actual skin color. And I just think it's nothing to be insecure about. If you're with a guy... He should understand that if he really if he really knows a woman's body then he'll understand that um yeah that's that's what i say i don't think that it's ugly at all um yeah but um yeah it's a one thing to have like a dark down there and it's one thing to have like a, a not an unhealthy one but like you can get ingrown hairs and stuff like that on it so just google and research things that to treat that or um like razor bones and stuff like that that could probably make it that can probably make it darker so yeah just research research and yeah do you feel comfortable talking about your period with your boyfriend um it's nothing to feel uncomfortable about like i said it happens to all girls so um, yeah, I do. Like, it's nothing to be uncomfortable about. Listen, if you're not comfortable with speaking to your boyfriend about it, then get comfortable or drop him. Okay? Period. Because that's something that you should be comfortable about. It happens to all girls, and it should be nothing to be scared about. Okay, I understand in the beginning, you don't, you don't, you don't just want to jump in and say, oh, talk about period, but you know eventually it should be nothing to feel uncomfortable about um especially with somebody that you're close to like your boyfriend or something like that um what is your period routine and what do you do to not leak and smell good um i don't really have a routine but um just change your pad constantly um, make sure your blood does not pack up into your pad. You don't want that. Um, and yeah, just carry wipes. I might have wipes and taste like I'm outside or something like that. But I don't really have a routine. Just You just need to make sure you know what to do. Um, like I said, change your pad constantly throughout the day. Um, download a period app. I have a period app, so it tells me when I will have my period. And it's really accurate, too. I use Flow. I might put a picture of it also. Um, the app Flow, I like that. It's the period, like, it tracks it. It's pretty on point with me. So, um, yeah. Okay, skincare products. I just said that I, um, not too long ago, I said that I used the St. Ives Apricot Acne Control Scrub um everybody has different opinions on st ives 
but I, from my experience, I like it. It's certain say I have products that I do not like, that I don't recommend, but that one product is the only product that I've been using for years now, so I really would recommend that. Um, yeah, that's really what I would recommend, the St. Ives product, and I just, I just, um, after I washed my face with that, I just put, um, some coconut lotion, not coconut, some cocoa butter lotion on my face, and I'm good. Also, my skin kind of tends to be dry sometimes, so I would add, like, just a little bit of Vaseline in certain spots of my face. You don't want to get a whole bunch of Vaseline and no. I just get a little bit of Vaseline and put it in certain spots and just rub it in, and I'm good to go. Um, um, fave store online or in-person fragrances. Um, I like, I actually like Victoria's Secret and Pink perfumes. Um, Back to Body Work perfumes are good too, but I use, um, Victoria's Secret, um, Pink perfumes. I have the Coco and Glow one and i also have the warm and cozy i have the two i have the perfume and the lotion sets for those so i like those um bath and body works is cool too but i don't really use that um yeah that's the store that i get my things from um personal hygiene tips and what you should and shouldn't use on your vagina and um, let me read the rest of this question. Okay, so the ending of the question was, um, personal hygiene tips, what you should and shouldn't use, and about its natural scent. So, um, I would say don't use heavy fragrance, like heavy, heavy scented products down there. I would not recommend that. Um, yeah, that's just what I wouldn't recommend. Also, whatever you're using, don't put it inside anywhere. No. Just do like the outside and I would say just, um, I would say just, um, when you're taking a shower, just do the inside with water, okay? But like the outsides and all of that, I would suggest like just using like a, a low scented soap, not anything too much down there. And everybody has like a natural scent, so I don't know. I don't know much about it, but just Google it, okay? Google it, um yeah your natural scent is not a bad scent if it's healthy if it's good down there then it shouldn't be a bad scent especially after you took a shower and stuff like that shouldn't be a bad scent but um yeah i would just say don't use anything heavily fragranced and um use something that doesn't really have a fragrance or a little little fragrance okay um like i said do it like around nothing like inside um, just do the inside. Make sure you do the inside good with water. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So that was all the questions, guys. I posted the YOLO like for, I had it up for like about an hour. I would say a little over an hour. Like I probably had it up for like an hour. Um, so yeah, those are a lot of the questions that you guys asked me. I should have, next time I'll keep it up for longer so I have more questions. Let me know if you think I should do like a series on this and like to cover different topics about it because I kind of did like a um, all around thing. So just maybe if you guys want, comment down below and I'll do like separate topics or this will become like a series on my channel. And um... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I love you guys.